Now, a Scottish Labour politician wants Scotland to be the first country in the world to provide free tampons and sanitary towels. MSP Monica Lennon says the state should pay under her plan to tackle period poverty. Well, if you think about it, over the course of a lifetime, you are going to spend a lot of money, quite a lot of money, on your tampons and your towels. A couple of years ago, the Huffington Post reported that a woman could spend up to £20,000 on Sanpro over the course of uh, her lifetime. Well, I've been talking to uh, MSP Monica Lennon from our studio studio in Edinburgh earlier, and she started off by talking about how reluctant people are actually to talk about periods and sanitary towels. There's still a lot of taboo and stigma and embarrassment. Um, no one really said, oh, don't be talking about this, but some people feel uncomfortable. And, and what I was quite concerned about last week was a, a food bank in the Paisley area. And um, the volunteers there were saying that the older women who come in who are needing some emergency packages, when asked about sanitary products, they get quite embarrassed. Whereas the younger girls are a bit more relaxed about talking about it. So I just think there's a, there's a wider issue there around women's health and women's body. So um, what has been encouraging is, is men and women across the political spectrum in the Scottish Parliament have um, agreed to work with me to set up a cross-party group to look at women's health more widely. Right. Uh, the, the cost of, of sanitary towels, um, it's about two quid for 20. You can pay a lot more, you can pay a little less. And it can be up to four pounds for tampons depending on whether or not they got applicators depending on i mean the, the, all sorts of gobbledygook is written on the packets of these things of course are you seriously suggesting that some people just cannot afford this yeah i think that's a fact the evidence shows that and when you go to when you say everything shows that what shows that well if you go to a food bank and you see people who volunteer in food banks people in homeless shelters they know people who um, are having to go without i mean last week or rather just at the weekend on Saturday, I was in Bathgate speaking to some women who want to take this forward in terms of their own community. And they were talking about one woman who's using washing up liquids to not only wash her dishes, but also to, to shower in and to wash her hair because that one product, she feels... Does the lot. Does the lot. And she's going without because she has a, a family to feed. Do you believe then that this will happen? And if so, how will it be funded? Where's the money coming from? The Scottish economy isn't in the best of states. Well, Scotland, like the rest of the UK, is a wealthy country. Um, I'm really encouraged well, what's and optimistic. The, the current deficit apparently is £16 billion. Pounds. Well, in terms of do I think it will happen, the next stage will be stage one and there'll be a big public consultation. And that's when we actually hear... The, the voices and experiences of women and girls and I think that will then determine you know what what options we look at but in terms of public health well, you must have some idea of how it's going to be funded well there's a number of ways it, it can be done but we're, we're trying to establish a principle here that, that this is a health issue you could also question the sanitary protection manufacturers who make a colossal amount of money sky-high profits off the back of basically bits of cotton wool yeah, I mean, it's it's a very um, commercial um, industry. But you're, I think there's a point there. In terms of um, how they interact with, with schools, I'm aware that some of the companies do provide education packs. So perhaps there are opportunities there and perhaps there's a role in how they um, engage in it and how they um, make their products. That's the voice of the Labour MSP, Monica Lennon. What do you think?